Have you ever wondered what happens after you get pulled over for a suspected DUI? If you or someone you know has been arrested for a DUI offense, this is a crucial question that you need to know the answer to. In this video, we will explain the main steps that take place during a DUI arrest, from the initial traffic stop to the bail process. We will also give you some tips on how to handle the situation and protect your rights. The first step of a DUI arrest is the initial traffic stop. This is when a police officer stops your vehicle for a probable cause, such as speeding, swerving, or running a red light. The officer will ask for your license, registration, and insurance, and observe your behavior and appearance for any signs of impairment, such as slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, or alcohol smell. The next step is the field sobriety tests. These are physical and mental exercises that the officer will ask you to perform to assess your coordination, balance, and attention. Some common tests are the walk and turn, the one leg stand, and the horizontal gaze nystagmus. These tests are voluntary, and you have the right to refuse them. However, refusing them could result in a license suspension or an arrest based on other evidence. The third step is the breathalyzer test. This is a device that measures your blood alcohol concentration, BAC, by analyzing your breath sample. The legal limit for BAC in most states is 0.08%. If you blow above this limit, you will be arrested for a DUI. This test is also voluntary, and you can refuse it. But again, refusing it could have negative consequences, such as a license suspension or an arrest based on other evidence. The fourth step is the arrest and booking. This is when the officer handcuffs you and takes you to the police station or the jail. There, you will be searched, fingerprinted, photographed, and placed in a holding cell. You will also be asked to take a chemical test, such as a blood, urine, or breath test, to confirm your BAC. This test is mandatory, and refusing it could result in a license suspension or an enhanced charge. The final step is the bail process. This is when you have the opportunity to get out of jail before your trial by paying a certain amount of money to the court. The amount of bail depends on various factors, such as your criminal history, the severity of the offense, and the risk of flight. If you cannot afford to pay the bail amount, you can use a bail bonds company to help you. A bail bonds company will post the bail for you in exchange for a fee, usually 10% to 15% of the bail amount. This way, you can secure your release and prepare for your defense. So, these are the main steps that happen after a DUI arrest. As you can see, it is a complex and stressful process that can have serious consequences for your life. That's why you need to be prepared and know your rights and options. If you need more information on DUI arrests or want to hire a professional bail bonds company in Raleigh, North Carolina, visit our website. We offer 24-7 service, low down payments, and flexible plans. Contact us today and secure your freedom.